asking questions is really important because then you're not assuming. And the questions you should ask once you have engaged in settings where people who are different from you, and I mean that different from you educationally, maybe different from you religiously, different from you socially, ethnically, whatever, right? Gender wise, you have to ask questions. You observe first, and then your questions are about trying to understand what other people's values are and getting them to express their values. You know, what do you think about the society we live in right now? What are your concerns about our democracy? Do you think that the educational, public education system is doing what it needs to do for all children? You want to ask real questions. And when you get those responses, then you're learning who that person is. Often you, I ask questions and listen. You don't ask three questions at one time one at a time, and even before you ask questions, remember you need to introduce yourself. Because if you're different in all those other categories, even if you have some similarities but you haven't created a relationship, you know, a personal relationship, then you need to introduce yourself first. And that's not just your name and whatever. Oh, it's in casual conversations, you start identifying what your values are, you know, like, wow, this is really an amazing time in our country. Or if it is in this time, you can say this is a really terrible time in our country where people are not really being included in decision making, whatever. But you've got to say something that would share with that other human being who you are, what you believe in, you know, what, why are you there? Everybody will notice if you come into a setting, civic, social, religious, and you've never been there before, you don't think people will notice? So you want to share why you're there. And it could be, well, I moved into the area. I thought this would be a good place to meet people who might have similar values as mine. I want to be part of the community. That's important. So I hope I'm helping because even when I would take students into neighborhoods in Wilmington or Atlanta or any place else where I was working, New Jersey, that was fun, Southern New Jersey. <laughs> I shared with them before going into the neighborhood, number one, there are 10 of us. You don't think we're going to attract attention? <laughs> we obviously don't live here and we were diverse, but people could tell I, and I would share with them, wherever you live, if 10 people showed up, got off a bus or out of a van without any acknowledgement or warning, wouldn't you go, who are those people? What do they want? And we were trying to collect data, you know, like qualitative data, not necessarily quantitative. So I had to really prepare them. When we get off this bus, we're not going to stay clumped together, we're gonna to see each other. But when we individually or as a group, someone's sitting on their porch, someone's coming out of the car, hello, how are you? Good afternoon, good morning. And you stop and make certain that people know you're not there treating them like a fishbowl, okay? And then when they find out, and we're gonna say, well, we're from University of, you know, Oh, wow, what do you guys want now? <laughs> okay, and you've got to be upfront and honest. So take that down to you as an individual going into a civic association meeting or going into a house of worship or going to a neighborhood event. You're the one that looks different because they pretty much know everyone in their area in their house of worship. So you've got to introduce yourself. You've got to move around and talk with people. I hope this is helpful.